what is going on everybody good evening we are heading out to painted mines just outside of Callahan Colorado and we're going to be doing some astrophotography tonight uh, reason we're doing astrophotography is recently I connected on Facebook with a few guys who are really wanting to get more serious about astrophotography and they were like well we want to go out and try painted mines I've been out to painted mines before I've shot out there a few times and I've done a little astrophotography out there so I know the terrain I kind of have some good ideas for out there so I was like okay well let's do that and so we uh, we've been trying to plan this out now for probably about a month um, originally we were gonna go out to Pawnee Butte but that just didn't work out for a few people's schedules and then we were gonna try for last night um, but my schedule didn't work out. I had some work commitments and wasn't able to go out when they wanted to. So luckily, uh, they were like, okay, well, let's go for Sunday night. So we're heading out there. We're going to do uh, some star photography. Hopefully the clouds and the weather cooperate with us. Um, the last couple of days, it's been really cloudy and overcast. And when you're doing star photography, you just can't go out and shoot when it is cloudy and overcast because you're not going to be able to see the stars. You know, astrophotography, there's a bit of a science to it. Um, it takes a lot of planning and there's de there's definitely some uh, technique involved into being able to capture starry skies and capture the Milky Way, which is what I'm really interested in tonight. Luckily, tonight, I think everything is lining up. Um, today has been pretty cloudy and overcast but from what I've seen from what I've seen with my weather apps uh, and uh, paying attention to radar it looks like around the time that the Milky Way is going to start being visible we're going to have clear skies so fingers crossed I think it's gonna be a good time and I'm excited to meet these guys um, I hope they're as enthusiastic about doing astrophotography as I am and yeah up on the overlook where I'm supposed to meet up with the guys and hopefully we will get some good shots. <laughs> quickly to my little brother thank you for buying me the new headlamp this thing is kicking out a lot of light to make it a lot easier to see and my old headlamp the batteries I could not find the charger for the rechargeable batteries so thank you again Taylor for buying me this Alright, so it's a little after 2 a.m. We spent most of the earlier hours scouting out some locations here. Now we're setting up to take our shots. I've already taken a few here. Uh, Dylan and Luke are setting up their shots right now. We almost felt like we were going to get skunked because a roll of clouds moved in, but luckily 
the wind has come blew them out of here so hopefully for the rest of the night we're gonna have some pretty good shots coming up here oh you want me to kill my light wow luke's been doing a really cool thing where uh he's been using dylan's red light dylan say hi i can see your red light back hey. there uh he's been using his red light and then flashing his flashlight to do some really cool light painting and they've been getting some really cool exposures and i'm feeling jealous so i'm going to try to do that right now here uh got my camera set up i'll talk you guys through the settings later about this but right now i'm going to try and get this shot Oh, that's awesome. Every shot that I'm taking tonight is at 18 millimeters at f3.5. I'm using 15 seconds on the shutter and I'm shooting an ISO of 3200. That way, hopefully, I'm not getting too much noise in the shot, but I'm still getting a long enough exposure that I can get some good detail out of the Milky Way. And so far, it's working out pretty well. Good night and yeah, safe travels, fellas. Yeah. So I feel like tonight went really well. Uh, Luke and Dylan are both great guys. I feel like we all came away with some really, really good shots. Uh, we were all kind of pushing each other to uh, try some different stuff. Luke was really pushing to include the human aspect in his photos, which I think is good. You always want to include that human element to make photos more relatable and Dylan was really pushing using a uh, different color using red light and mixing it with white light to create some really cool effects so I'm really excited to see how these those photos are going to turn out along with some of the landscape shots I got so hope you guys enjoyed this episode I'm tired I'm going to go home hopefully uh, get some sleep here and uh, until next time I'll see you out on the trail and here are some of the shots that we got from tonight.